Hey, you guys. Come on in. Join me, join me. Come on in. Okay, I have a question for you. Lean in. Have you ever had a feeling you should do something? It didn't quite make sense. Maybe logically it didn't make sense. So you just didn't do it. Or maybe you did do it. How'd that turn out for you if you actually did what the feeling told you to do? How'd that go? Chances are, you guys can post it in the comments, chances are it went really well for you. You had this feeling, I should do this. I can't explain why, I just know it's something I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm talking about, right? I know for myself, I had this feeling, this feeling, and I'll talk about what this feeling is, but I've had this feeling a few very intentional times that I can think of that it was like, it doesn't really make sense, but this is like the feeling. The first time I can intentionally remember, and I think it's because my awareness was enough that I was like, oh, something's up, was when I first met my husband, right? Had lots of long-term relationships before that, but I was. this was the first time that I was like, oh, this isn't a guy I normally date. Something tells me I'm supposed to date this guy, and within like a couple months, I knew I was gonna marry him, okay? That was the first time for me. Second time uh, was when I worked at the hospital, and I worked there for like 15 years, climbing the corporate ladder. And I remember going home to said husband and saying, yeah, I'm not supposed to work there anymore. And again, it didn't make sense on paper. Like why, why would you do that? Giving up all the shiny things and the security and the pension and the benefits. Why would you do that? It was a feeling. Third time was selling everything six months ago and moving to Barbados. I was like, gosh, why would you do that? Does it make sense? Okay, but it was a feeling. And by that point, Dave, thank God, had enough awareness <laughs> by that point that he was like, yeah, let's do it. Because <laughs> the whole hospital thing, that was not as easy <laughs> to uh, get him to not think I was totally nuts. Okay? But let me tell you, those are just three... And the, I mean, those are three pretty, pretty big things, right? Like who I'm marrying, where I work, where I live, right? But there's been so many other small moments throughout the day. It might be you're leaving the house and you get this feeling, I should probably grab an umbrella or a coat. No, 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 you don't need to. You're in a hurry. You don't have time for that. Get going. And you don't. And then doesn't it freaking start to rain? Doesn't it start to rain? Right? Or it gets cold. And you say to yourself, damn, wish I would have taken an extra minute to grab that umbrella or that coat. Okay? You know this feeling I'm talking about. Okay? We call it our gut feeling or a hunch. I call it our intuition. Okay? This is called our sixth sense. And we know what our five senses are, right? We see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. You're seeing me right now. You're hearing me. Can't touch me, but we're, we're together, right? You can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. So the sixth sense is that, that feeling. That feeling, it's an, it's an emotion. It's like deep. It's rooted. And when we feel it, the key, you guys, is to actually listen to it. Don't be that person hanging out, sitting in the rain, wishing they brought their damn umbrella. Okay? I promise you, when you start listening to that feeling, magic, magic will start to happen in your life. And half the things that you're, you're inspired to do, it's an inspiration. It's a hunch, right? Everything's like, it'll work out. 
And it's always hindsight that you can connect the dots, right? You can always connect the dots going back. You can't connect the dots going forward. So when you tell people about these hunches, so I kind of had to tell Dave that, hey, we're getting married. And I had to tell Dave, like, hey, I'm leaving the hospital. And, hey, we're moving to Barbados. Like, I had to let him in on those things because they were, like, going to impact him too, right? But there's certain things that we tend to let people in on that really have no qualifications, merit, and even being told. We think they do. Oh, well, I had to tell my sister because it's my sister. I had to tell my parents, my parents. I had to tell my neighbor, it's my neighbor. Oh my gosh, I could imagine not telling them. But the thing is, is the second you start spouting off your hunches that are meant for you, you start letting in other people's belief systems. And guess who's going to talk you out and reinforce your habitual way of doing things? The people that honestly, they love you. They love you. They want the best for you. But they are also programmed to not take risks, to not follow their intuition, to not follow their hunches because it's not safe. So you start saying, well, you know what? Moving forward, I am only making decisions based on what like I want and what I feel like. Do you think that the people that are around you that don't understand that are going to support it? Probably not. And it's not good or bad, right or wrong. It's not. But I even know for um, my family didn't know. They knew I was going to marry Dave before I married Dave because that was pretty long. But they didn't know until I had actually resigned that I was leaving the hospital. They didn't know until my house was sold, my stuff was getting sold, and that we were moving to Barbados. Like about two seconds before y'all found out, my family found out. And it's not good or bad, right or wrong. I just knew what I was supposed to do, what we were supposed to do as a family. And I wasn't willing to let anybody try to talk me out of it based on their own level of awareness. Okay. And so this isn't, this is just me teaching you about this sixth sense that you have. And I know there's this movie out there where this little kid seeing dead people, it's not your sixth sense. It's a feeling. It, it heightens and like, uh, prompts your creative imagination, but it's this feeling that you have within you. So when we as like humans, we say, oh, follow your gut. And it's like, sure, follow your gut. It's really just that sixth sense. Okay. And there's even tons of research, you guys. Like I'm, I'm a research geek and I love this stuff. There's so much research out there that says when people make decisions based on the feeling or, or science will call it the emotion, right? Um, that they tend to be happier with their decision versus making the decision based on logic. So, and I guess, again, we attracted each other in for a reason, folks. There's a reason why um, uh, you are probably too very logical. You're a logical person just like me or how I used to be. I'm not very logical now. I tend to now, I've trained myself that if something seems really logical, I tend to question it. If something's man-made, I always question it. Because my intuition tells me to question it. So, call me crazy. But it is powerful. You want to start getting what you want in life? Follow this feeling. And you'll win. Every single time. I love it. You can be here in Barbados. If you are wanting to learn more about your intuition, about this sixth sense, about your creative imagination, well, I'm going to link up my calendar. I want you guys to book a call. Happy to chat with you about it. Join our 2% club. In the 2% club, we literally are doing the things that 98% of people are not doing. I cannot wait to see you there. Have an amazing day, you guys. You're incredible. Go get them. Follow that sixth sense. Bye.